It's another dive into the archive for WNYC's 100th anniversary. It's 1995. We will try to persuade you or ask you to try to persuade yourself that the value of a lasting, independent, truly free public radio station is worth the effort of contributing $25 or more. WNYC was from its earliest days a radio station owned by the city of New York. By the mid-1990s, it began moving away from city ownership. Steve Post was thrilled. He was morning host for a 20-year stretch and master of the pledge drive. From the very beginning of asking for money on the radio 30 years ago, I used to think to myself, why won't everybody just send us a dollar and this whole thing won't be necessary? He's really getting wound up now. I don't see why every single person out there listening will not go to the phone, particularly in this historic moment, to see to it that public radio will live on for ourselves, for our children, for the community. These words and thoughts have long represented the station's cherished independence. Mr. Post, nearly three decades ago, made you believe it. And by the way, WNYC did make its goal that afternoon in June of 95. For more on our centennial, visit wnyc.org slash 100.